Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Legendary Leaders. I'm your host, Katrina Jameson. I'm the founder of Legend Leaders, where we arm female business leaders with the strategies they need to master the one rule of career success and live a legend life. How's it going? How's it going in creating the framework and preparing to take your team to the next level, make them that irreplaceable team that we all must have to add daily value, right? We've got to be surrounded by amazing talent that's adding daily value so that we can exponentially increase the value that we're adding to the organization. That's what creating an irreplaceable team does for you. And we're working on that. Now, I'm not calling this program creating an irreplaceable team. That's not what this entire month series is about. This month series is all about creating the conversation, creating the guidelines for you to have effective conversations with your team and help them close out the year. This is the how. This is how you're going to communicate effectively and move your team forward. And so we've spent the past two weeks looking at ourselves and saying, hey, how am I doing? Am I showing up in the right way? Am I adding value to my team? Because I've got to give before I can receive. So am I showing up and serving them? What's the first thing we did? And then last week we sat down and we put together a framework, a questionnaire, so to speak, for ourselves to complete relative to the performance of our team. It's how we're going to assess their performance. And, and part of it is understanding, again, how we're showing up because we have to be abundantly clear. And this is really important. I've got some questions since the last episode, and I want to clarify this really quickly. If we aren't clear as to what the expectations are, if we haven't set our three to five, if we haven't made it directly clear, hey, team, this is 2022. I want to be abundantly clear. These are the three to five things that we're going to achieve this year because this is what the company has asked us to deliver on, and this is what they consider to be most valuable. That's what those three to five things are. If you haven't been abundantly clear this entire year as to what those things are and why they matter, chances are probably not going to deliver to them, which means you're not adding the value that you need to add, which means you're probably not looking or feeling as successful as you want, and you're definitely not feeling as secure as you want to feel in your career. And when we don't feel secure and we don't feel like we're being successful, we absolutely do not have time in our personal lives because we're scrambling. I know this. This is what happens. It's what we always do. And so everything that I teach you is by design a process that you can use in order to deliver value so that you can breathe, so that you can focus on the right things at the right times in order to effectively move your portion of the business forward and have success and security and live your life. You've got to be able to do both. And so these trainings and these strategies that I bring to you on this podcast and on the YouTube is by design created to help you have both career success and personal fulfillment. That's what we're trying to achieve here. Okay? So this entire series is a lot about you. I'm still pushing on you. I'm still having you think through. How are you communicating? How are you measuring? What does this look like? Have you told your team any of these things? We have to answer the question. And many times we don't want to look in the mirror. Many times we don't want to say, oh, probably haven't communicated that as well as I should have. Okay. Do we want to avoid and ignore that reality and keep kicking that can down the road and really never getting the results and slowly becoming irrelevant in the workplace? No. I already know the answer. The answer is no. Or... Right? What's the other option? Looking in the mirror, asking ourselves these questions, acknowledging when we haven't been showing up and being the leader that we must be, and fixing it. That's the entire purpose of this month. I want you to look within, gut check, have a framework, go back, deliver clarifying conversations, and move your team forward because there is still time in this year to get your team on track, and you're going to have three months to close out this year. And a lot can happen in three months. A lot can happen in three months. You've still got time. It's never too late. Let's take the action now. Right? What's that saying? You know, the best time to have planted a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So, could you have done some of these things at the beginning of the year? Sure. 
Are we just going to wait and, and say this year's a wash and move on? No. We're going to plant the tree today. All right. So I'm off my soapbox. Let's get going. What you're going to do is you're going to take the sheet that you created last week, either that you created on your own or that you completed through the workbook. Today, you're going to take that sheet and you're going to complete it for every single one of your team members. That's your challenge. You're going to grab that sheet. It's going to be blank. And you're going to fill it out. You already know the three to five. The three to five, that first question isn't going to change for anybody, right? Should be the same. It should be this, the same thing. Unless you've got two or three different teams. Here's the caveat. Unless you've got two to three different teams and each team is focused on the different pieces. They've got a different three to five. That's fine. But within that team, those folks on that team should have the same three to five. And that's the point. Got it? So question number one should inherently be the same for each person on the same team. Number two should be the same. How should they be showing up? But what I want you to do is now I want you to say, how are they showing up? For all the attributes that you've defined, give it a number. On a scale of one to ten, how are they showing up? How are they delivering to the attributes? And you answered number three, how are you measuring that? Put some notes. I gave Jimmy a seven on showing up on time, right? Being to meetings on time, part of his personal brand. Showing that I can count on him, that I can trust him with bigger projects, bigger responsibilities. I'm giving him a seven. Why? Because in the past three months, he's been late to five meetings and I've had to hold him personally accountable for it. Boom. Okay? Okay. You've already sat down without thinking about the person and you've created the assessment sheet. It has to happen that way. When we sit down and we're already thinking about people, we get swayed by our emotions. So that's why last week you created the sheet without anybody in mind. That's how you should have done it. Right? I ask you to look at your top performer. That's different. If you look at your top performer, that's fine. That's a good gauge. But we weren't thinking about, oh, this person doesn't do this. And, oh, I probably need to put this down because they're not doing that. It was mostly without emotion. It was you sitting down and saying, here's what I need for my team. This is what success looks like, right? Now you're bringing the human side into it and you're putting people and you're answering these questions for every single person on your team. And then you're talking about the metrics and the measures and the things that you've used to rate them that number. Because the next thing you're going to do next week, I'm going to teach you one more thing. But after that, you're going to go have a conversation with your team and you're going to give them this feedback. Hey, let's sit down. We have the three to five things that we've been focused on this year. I've been talking to you a lot about how to show up and be successful in this team. Let me run through what that looks like again. Let me tell you how I see you performing on each one of these things and show you how I've assessed it. Again, open book test. We're not going to make them guess. We're not going to make them wonder. We're not going to make them figure it out on their own. We're here to tell them because when you eliminate the guesswork for how to be successful, people can succeed. They're not stressed anymore. They're not worried. They're not wondering. They're not hoping that they're doing the right thing. You've made it clear. So now in the next three months, it's so clear to them that they're, they're running, they're delivering, and they're adding value because you told them how to do it and exactly what to do. You've removed the gray, and that is exactly the leader that you must be. So, take the form that you completed or you, that you created, rather, I keep saying completed, created last week, complete it for each person on your team. Be specific. Give them a rating, a scale of 1 to 10. How are they performing currently on each, each of the attributes that you need your team members to display? List out the metrics or the measures or the, or the reference points that you use to give them that rating. And then you're going to prepare to give them feedback. You're not going to give them feedback until the next episode. I want to teach you one more thing about using the six human needs. We've got to put the six human needs in here, and that's what next week is about. All right? But you're going to complete the form, and then next week I'm going to teach you about how to deliver the conversation in a way that your team members will receive that conversation. That's really important. And then you're going to give them the feedback, and you're going to build a cadence of communication, of assessment, feedback, good and bad. They've got to have both. You've got to celebrate them and you've got to challenge them, but you're going to build a cadence of communication 
and you're going to consistently use this form that you created last week in order to communicate with them. Okay? That's the roadmap that you're on. That's the step and the path that you're going to be taking. So, this week, do your forms. Complete them for each person and pause on them. Don't move forward yet. Join me next week. We're going to talk about how to have the conversation, and then you're going to go have it. As always, go and be legendary.